as you can see some air goes into a bypass duct what is a bypass for example if someone has a heart problem normally the person goes through a bypass surgery since the artery is clogged the doctor will take a vein from your leg and create a bypass Hey pilots, welcome back to the channel. Today, let us talk about air conditioning. The A320 air conditioning system is completely automatic and you get air from the pneumatic system. Do check out my video on the A320 pneumatic system. The equipment required will be two pack flow control valves, two packs, and a mixing unit which mixes the cabin air and air from the packs. In case of emergency, you have a ram air inlet to provide outside air to the mixing unit. Two computers control the temperature in the cockpit and cabin which is called the Air Conditioning System Controller or ACSC for short. How is temperature regulated? Well, I will explain later on when I go through a simple diagram. Question: Can the cabin crew control the cabin temperature? Do comment below if you know the answer. So, hot bleed air from the engine enters the primary heat exchanger and is pre-cooled. Then, this cool bleed air enters the compressor section of the air cycle machine and is compressed. What happens when you compress air? You will get high pressure and temperature. As you can see, some air goes into a bypass duct. What is a bypass? For example, if someone has a heart problem, normally the person goes through a bypass surgery. Since the artery is clogged, the doctor will take a vein from your leg and create a bypass. Similarly, in this diagram, some of the air will be bypassed and go back to the system. The remaining air will travel to the main heat exchanger, gets cool again and enters the turbine section. Now, this is where the air will expand. When it expands, it generates power to drive the compressor and cooling air fan. Because of this, a lot of energy is used and this process reduces the air temperature which results in very cold air at turbine discharge. There is also a water separator system that dries the air before it enters the turbine section. There is an emergency ram air inlet that helps to ventilate the aircraft to remove smoke just in case both packs fail. You can control this valve by using this ram air push button on the aircon panel. You can use this push button provided you did not select the ditching push button. So, if ram air push button is selected on, the outflow valve will open about 50% in auto mode and if delta P is less than 1 psi. If delta P is greater than 1 psi, then the check valve at the ramp air door will not open. So, no airflow will then be supplied. I repeat, if delta P is more than 1 psi, the valve will not open. Let's talk about the hot air pressure regulating valve. It is pneumatically operated and electrically controlled which regulates hot air pressure. The computer ACSC1 controls this bad boy. If you press the hot air push button, then the valve closes. So, when does the valve close automatically? Number 1. When ACSC1 fail. Number 2. Duct overheat. Number 3. Cockpit trim air valve fails. Number 4. Both cabin trim air valve fails. Remember that it must be both. Speaking on trim air valves, you can adjust it to control the temperature. 
basically you are controlling the amount of hot air. Cockpit trim air valve is controlled by ACSC1 and cabin trim air valves is controlled by ACSC2. Temperature range will be between 18 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Since the ram air inlet flap is located at the bottom, it closes during takeoff and landing to avoid an ingestion of foreign objects. It opens again 20 seconds after speed drops below 70 knots. On the ground, with both engines running, normal flow is limited to 90% and if engine bleed pressure is too low, the computer will send a signal to the engine interface unit or EIU to increase the minimum idle so you get more bleed pressure. If you are using APU bleed, then the computer will send the signal to the APU ECB to increase the APU flow output. Do check out my video on A320 APU system. As usual, if one computer fails, the other takes over. So what happens if the compressor and turbine fail? Remember the heart surgery I described earlier? The preconditioned bleed air will then go directly downstream of the air cycle machine turbine through the bypass valve and the rest will go through the failed ACM. So, any turbine and compressor failure will result in reduced pack flow. Let us look at the buttons on the overhead panel. This is the zone temperature selector, the ones controlling the trim air valves. If you put it to cold, you will get 18 degrees Celsius at the 12 o'clock position and it will be 24 degrees Celsius. And if it is selected hot, you will get 30 degrees Celsius. You will never get 18 degrees Celsius in a hot country. This is the hot air push button. On and it regulates hot air pressure. Off and the valve closes and trim air valve close. Fault if there is an overheat of 88 degrees Celsius and above. The fault amber light goes off when the temperature drops below 70 degrees Celsius. Pack push button. If it is selected on, the valve opens unless if the fire push button is pushed, ditching push button is pressed, or during a manual start. Do refer to your manual on other scenarios when it closes. Off and the pack flow control valve close. Fault amber when the valve position disagree or when there is a compressor outlet or pack outlet overheat. Okay, this is the pack flow selector. Low is 80% demand, norm is at 100% and high is at 120%. If you are using APU bleed, then it will be high automatically. Once again, do check out my video on the APU. If low is selected and cooling demand cannot be satisfied, the pack flow will automatically go up to 100%. Ram air push button on and the emergency ram air inlet opens. If delta P is more than 1 psi, no emergency ram air flows in. If delta P is less than 1 psi, then the outflow valve opens about 50% in auto mode. Off and the emergency ram air inlet valve closes. Cabin fans here, off and on is self-explained. Let us move on to the ECAM bleed page. Pack outlet temperature here. It goes to amber if temperature is higher than 90 degrees Celsius. Pack ram air inlet. Pack turbine bypass valve position. Cold, valve is closed, hot and valve is open. Pack compressor outlet temperature goes amber if temperature is higher than 260 degrees Celsius. Pack flow control valve. Hey! 
user indication in green and becomes amber when ram air flap not fully open and both pack flow control valves are closed.